Hi Foresters, I'm Danto and this is Amy. Hi guys. We're, we're the Food Foresters <laughs> and uh, we have been asked to participate in a open tag for five seeds that we are excited to grow this season. <laughs> We were, um, it was started by the Wright Farms, um, who... And uh, the Practical Modern yeah. Homestead are the ones that did the open tag. We have a little cheat sheet down here, just in case you're wondering. Because <laughs> we had to remember everybody's names. <laughs> and say it right. I'm yeah. horrible at, at switching up the names. Yep. So we do cheat. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Maybe we ought to get a big grease board to put behind it so that we can <laughs> cheat and not be so obvious about it. <laughs> That'd be good to prop it up right there. All right. But anyway, we were um, asked to participate in this open tag, and we're also going to be tagging three other um, YouTubers at the end of this video. So we're going to go ahead and start out with the five seeds that we are excited to grow this year. Um, the first one I have is going to be the White Wonder Cucumber. We're excited about this. I love cucumbers. We yes. like to pickle them. I like to eat them raw, mm -hmm. um, in salads, whatever. But uh, we just really enjoy cucumbers, and I've never mm -hmm. had a white cucumber. Yeah, so. I've never even seen one before. We're also going to do regular cucumbers, but well, I'm excited about this one because it's just... It's a different color altogether. All right, number two is going to be the glass gem corn. Now this is a um, one you don't eat. It's mainly for decoration. It can be used as popcorn, or you could even grind it though to make corn flour, yeah, make cornbread and stuff like that. It's not a soft corn. You don't boil it up and eat it. Yeah. Um, and the only reason that I got excited about this one is because the kernels are practically see-through and they are these pretty um, pastel type colors. And so I'm hoping that if growing them, I'll be able to have some type of decoration for Thanksgiving and the fall time. All right. All right. Now the next one is, I'm excited because this is, a lot of people use this in the herbal industry, and this is St. John's Wort. We actually use, uh, give St. John's Wort to my son. Mm -hmm. He's autistic, and he gets upset pretty all, pretty easily, and this, this kind of mellows him out a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, it allows him to deal with frustrating situations a lot better. Yeah, my oldest daughter takes this too because um, she has a little bit of an anxiety and this helps calm. It helps you focus. It pretty much, it's just a nice relaxing um, type herbal medicine that you can drink with teas. Um, if you um, dry it really good, um, like I said, they take it in capsules. So it's, it's something that's safe to grow and I'm hoping that we'll be able to start using this um, versus buying it in the store and if you you know are a student you take exams or you mm -hmm. you know an adult you know you're taking classes to help you know with your career or whatever you're doing mm -hmm. this is really great to take you know especially before an exam yeah people that have like i do i have horrible you know Stressed out whenever I have to take a test. I get anxiety real bad on tests. Mm -hmm. All right, number four is the uh, butterfly pea. Now this is a viney flower. It is blue in color, and I'm excited about this one because you can pick off the flowers and soak them in water. The water turns blue, and then you can use that water to cook your rice and make your rice blue. If you add a little bit of lemon juice to it, it turns it to this, um, um, like this, uh, is it lemon? It's either lemon or lime. I might be wrong. I could be wrong on it. 
Lemon or lime juice, and it turns it like a purple color. I believe it's lemon. I think it is. I think it is lemon, but like I said, I have to. I'm not quite sure. But uh, we saw this on um, one of our YouTubers. Um, we saw them do this. I think it was um, was Doug and Doug and Stacy off grade with Doug and Stacy did a video on this uh, when they were up at Baker Creek, and uh, it just looked awesome just to be able to cook blue rice you know and it's all natural so it's not like you're using artificial dyes all right and then the last one is going to be casper eggplant and we got some of this uh last year i picked it up at the farmer's market remember yeah the white cucumbers and it was I mean, RB, white, uh white eggplant the white eggplant and mm. they were delicious yeah. we really enjoyed the white eggplant yeah we had never seen it before so we bought two and uh we cooked them up and it was it was actually sweeter yeah, it tasted we, a little bit sweeter than the normal purple ones uh, we really enjoyed the white eggplant so we're excited about that yeah uh, now, we do have regular eggplant, not the normal ones that you find at the local store. There's another variety we're growing that's kind of like a purple, purplish, streaky, striped kind. Um, I don't know the name of it offhand, but we're also going to be growing that and this, too. This then we year. get some of the uh, long Asian ones, too, that are like long and skinny, look like almost like a, that's what a I was, zucchini one. Yeah, that's the one. It's got okay. like purple streaks or purple okay, yeah. lines on it. Yep. We're uh, we're excited about yeah, that. Yeah, and we're gonna be making raised beds, so we'll be able to you know start growing here in the next uh, week or two. We're hoping. And until this, until last year, I hated eggplant. I wouldn't. I tried it one time when I was a kid, and <laughs> didn't like it, and I refused to eat it until I was. 48 years old <laughs> and and decided to try making eggplant parmesan mm -hmm. and it's now one of my favorite things to eat yeah so you're this, never too too old to change you know and just wish he would eat more veggies and yeah i'm trying i eat a lot of raw vegetables he doesn't like them steamed no i'm stuck with corn and green beans y'all no carrots, Dean, no broccoli, Dean, no peas, no mixed veggies. I like no. raw vegetables. I like raw peas. I like, um, <laughs> I like raw be beans, you know, mm. green beans. I like he green beans He doesn't even eat cooked. tomatoes. I cook with tomatoes. He cooks them, but he won't eat them. I, uh, I really enjoy... <laughs> You know, like raw cauliflower and raw broccoli. But to me, if you cook them and you just ruin them. I like the crunch of the crispy, you know, the, the cauliflower and the, the broccoli. When you cook and you make it soggy, it just ruins it for me. Like, I'll even eat some raw cabbage. But, uh, you know, in salads and stuff like that. But as soon as you, you know, cook it or even put vinegar to it. Forget about it. I'm not eating it. I don't eat coleslaw because I don't like the... Oh, I love coleslaw. But... KFC coleslaw. Now, to get back to <laughs> the challenge. Yeah. We kind of yes. got off track that, there a little bit. That's okay. So, here we're going to announce the uh, three YouTubers that we're going to open tag. And we're hoping that they'll participate in this. So, the first one is... Um, Browser Farms... Or Browser Homestead. Yeah, now they're out of uh, Louisiana Gulf Coast, which I am technically spent a lot of time in that area. Um, I was in, I lived in Biloxi, Mississippi. Um, so they're interesting. So that with them being on the Gulf Coast like that, close to, you know, with all the stuff that they're doing. Uh, but they bought some acreage and they're um, taking the pastures and, Converting it um, into, converting a, into a homestead. Yeah, into yeah a it's homestead. a rundown pasture, and we're really excited to see what they're doing and everything. Yeah. Um, the next one is one that we've been uh, um, subscribed to for a while, mm -hmm. and that's the Duncan 1900 Homestead. They do a lot of do it yourself projects, gardening, they have animals, mm -hmm. um, they're just general homesteading 
and it's it's a real nice program real great people mm -hmm. and so we're you know we're excited to tag them and, um, and then the last one is going to be Deer Park Farmstead um, now they're in uh, Washington and they're doing the general homesteading you know raising their uh, their flocks and you know for meat and for eggs and I think they got like a half acre mm -hmm. market garden there right now um yeah now they were also featured under um what was it Sin City Farms now this that, yeah that was their that was their urban homestead right their urban homestead um now this um the Sin City Farms was featured on Justin Rhodes's um Great, Great American, American Farm Tour, Tour. Tour. Great American Farm Tour. Oh, sorry. And then he was also featured on uh, John with Growing Your Greens. Two YouTubers we love. Yeah. So. So we're excited to tag him too. So. All right. Well, we hope you guys enjoy this video. So, and we're gonna go ahead and follow along with us on our journey when we uh. Start planting these guys here in the next uh, week or two because now that the cold snap from at least what we're seeing the cold snap is uh, pretty much over with so we'll be able to start planting outside here in central Florida now um, back to the the the, uh, the tagging again mm -hmm. go check out these channels yes we like off. to thank right uh, the right farms um, for starting the the uh, the challenge mm -hmm. and practical modern homestead for doing the open tag for us small YouTubers. Yes. And uh, show the, the love. Yeah, show the love. We're gonna put the all everybody's links down in the com or down in the uh, description. Mm -hmm. So go out, go back, go, you know, check out these uh, um, other channels. Other channels, mm -hmm. you know, check out their videos. Uh, if you liked their videos, please like their videos subscribe. and subscribe and comment. Comment is very important for us smaller YouTubers. Yeah. You know, we the, the comments is one of the things that YouTube measures our channels with. And, you know, so, you know, you give us a like, subscribe, but definitely comment. We all, all of us YouTubers love, you know, smaller YouTubers, you know, we read the comments. We, we mm -hmm. comment back. Um, you know, we, we like seeing these comments from the people that view our yes. videos. And if you think there's something, you know, we need to add to our videos, mm -hmm. you know, please tell us. Oh, they you want know. your biscuit recipe. They want your biscuit <laughs> recipe? We'll have to do a biscuit video. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a biscuit video on my and biscuits. And bread. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to do a thing on uh, maybe once I get the uh, sourdough bread, maybe we can do mm -hmm. that too. Yeah. So, all right, guys, everybody have a good night. We'll see y'all later. And remember, grow, grow something, something for, for your family. family. Bye, guys. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and grow something for your family.